The two most common acid reflux surgery with quick recovery. Did you know that unhealthy eating habits can cause acid reflux? Based on scientific research, anyone, even infants and young children have a tendency to have acid reflux. This disorder is most common in infants and young children, but in time, disappears. Acid reflux known also as gastroesophageal reflux disease can definitely affect adults too. This is a disorder that could happen anytime especially to someone who had just had a large meal with lots of acidic foods or even someone with history of acid reflux, thus, having recurrences of the disorder due to unhealthy eating patterns. Unhealthy diet and an inappropriate eating schedule can cause acid reflux. As a person consumes a heavy meal, full of acid foods, an abnormality in the stomach can occur like bringing back the food induced to the esophagus and throat. Acid reflux is unexplainable to many because this condition can occur anytime, but are most likely to occur after several heavy meals or unhealthy eating habits. Many people with acid reflux can control their condition by means of medical treatment and even appropriate diet. Some people with a severe condition of acid reflux should consider surgical procedures, because for most people, acid reflux surgery is the best solutions for this disorder. There are several surgical procedures that acid reflux patients can choose from. The most effective and safe acid reflux surgeries are laparoscopic anti-reflux surgery, also known as laparoscopic Neeson fundoplication and intraluminal endoscopic surgery that most patients encounter. Laparoscopic Neeson fundoplication, or fundoplication for short, is the most common form of acid reflux surgery. This surgery is performed by tightening the walls of the esophagus in the area next to the stomach then adding pressure to the lower esophageal muscles. When the pressure increased between the stomach and esophagus, this medical procedure prevents the content of the stomach to go upward inside the throat and esophagus. Another method mostly considered by other patients with acid reflux is having the esophageal valve tightened in order to seal the esophagus and prevent gastric acid to enter. Intraluminal endoscopic acid reflux surgery is another acid reflux surgery that most patients prefer. This surgical procedure has the same procedure as the fundoplication except that it involves a small optical, tubular instrument that is needed to be inserted in the body and at the same time, view the inner parts of the body that need surgical or biopsy attention thus allowing an actual biopsy or surgery to be performed. This is possible through the so-called endoscope. Intraluminal endoscopic acid reflux surgery is quick and has minimal risks for the patients. As such, a post-operatory treatment is not required but allows possibly fast recovery for patients as well. Because of medical advancement and millions of modern treatments, acid reflux can now be treated. Patients who wish to rid of acid reflux can do so because of the options given to them through possible medications, proper diet or surgery. Likewise, surgery is most recommended to people with chronic acid reflux, but is now available to patients with less serious conditions of acid reflux. Henceforth, surgical procedures have been the most common way of getting rid of acid reflux completely and permanently. In mind, patients that are considering surgery will have quick recovery after the surgical procedures and will no longer have acid reflux. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.